Right now at noon, remembering 9-11, firefighters in the Sacramento region climbing 110 flights of stairs to honor the fallen today. It's an annual tradition. Each firefighter carries the name and biography of a fallen firefighter during that climb. Always emotional and just a beautiful way to tribute. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us this noon. I'm Dina Kupfer and that is where we began. It has been 22 years since the September 11th terror attacks left a black mark on this country that will never be forgotten. Jared Hill is actually live for us this afternoon near the annual commemoration at Ground Zero in New York City. Jared, thank you so much for being with us. Just talk us through what's been going on there today. Yeah, Dana, you know, one of the things that we have seen now 22 years again after those attacks on 9-11 is this increasing emphasis to make sure that younger generations remember and, and learn and know what happens as more Americans are born after those terror attacks. As one of the speakers put it earlier today, making sure that that message and those stories were relayed so that the people who lost their lives are remembered through younger generations. Mourners gathered in lower Manhattan to remember the thousands of lives lost in the September 11th terror attacks 22 years ago today. James M. Amato. Joseph Amatuccio. In keeping with tradition, family members read aloud the names of loved ones who were killed. My sister, Jody Tepidino Niccolo. We miss you, Jody. We love you. Your light still shines as bright as it ever did. At the Pentagon, an American flag was unfurled and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin took part in a wreath laying to honor the nearly 200 lives lost there. The men and women of the Department of Defense will always remember. And in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, relatives left flowers at the memorial wall for victims of United Flight 93. The plane crashed when passengers tried to overtake the hijackers. Back here in New York, the fire department, which lost 343 members that day, continues to lose members even now. First responders are dying from illnesses stemming from the rescue and the recovery efforts at Ground Zero. World Trade Center illness is very real. Uh, we lose so many people to it, um, and early prevention and detection and treatment is key. As family members grieve, they hold true to their enduring message to never forget. And President Biden is expected to deliver some remarks later on this afternoon from Alaska on his way back from a trip to Asia. Back to you. Wow, so powerful to hear some of those family members speak. All right, Jared Hill reporting for us in New York. Thank you. In West Sacramento today, thousands of flags have been placed in a field to honor the victims who died that day. This is all done by a local man named John Vinson, who gets his family, friends, and volunteers to help put all of those flags out every year. The memorial is at the corner of Jefferson Boulevard and Locks Drive. The site is open 24 hours, but those flags will be taken down tomorrow morning if you are interested in going and taking a look.